Okay, this is a challenging math Olympiad question, but let's do this, okay? Sine x, we are asked to solve for sine x if 1 over cos x minus tan x is equal to 3, okay? The first thing we need to do here, let's first of all write the equation. The equation says that 1 over cos x, right, minus tan x is equal to 3. There is no sine x here, so we actually need to introduce sine x. And to do that, tan x is what? Sine x over cos x. So we have 1 over cos x, okay, minus sine x divided by cos x is equal to 3. Perfect. So what do we have? Cos x, cos x. So we can actually, that means both of them, they have a common denominator. That means we can rewrite this as what? We can rewrite this as what? This is cos x. They have the same denominator. So we have 1 minus sine x as the numerator. Okay? It's equal to 3. Perfect. Now let's go. This is taking too much space. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So what do we do from here? Let's cross multiply. If we cross multiply, note that 3 is same as 3 to the 3 over 1, right? So 1 minus sine x times 1 we give us 1 minus sine x okay is equal to 3 times cos x we give us 3 cos x perfect now let's square both sides of this equation yes i have a reason you are going to see that soon so we have 1 minus sine x squared is equal to 3 cos x squared <laughs> so 1 minus sine x squared if you should if you um, follow our algebra identity a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab right now in this case our a is 1 and our b is sine x so let's see what it gives us so it's going to be 1 squared which we, which is what 1 then sine x squared which is what plus sine squared x then minus 2 a b that is 2 times 1 times sine x that is 2 sine x all right is equal to this is going to give us 3 squared we give us 9 cos x squared we give us cos squared x perfect cos squared x now i'm trying to form a quadratic equation i'm trying to form a quadratic equation then this cos x is going to actually disturb us. Let's change it to sine x because cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x, right? So we have 1 plus sine squared x minus 2 sine x is equal to 9 multiplied by 1 minus sine squared x. Perfect. Actually, if this is the first time you're tuning in, this is the first time you're seeing this face. Oh, yeah? Subscribe, okay? <laughs> Please subscribe and on your notification bell. So you'll be notified anytime you upload a new video, okay? Then don't forget to like, comment, and share. Yes, comment, comment. Okay, now, um, we have 1 plus sine squared x minus 2 sine x okay is equal to 9 minus 9 sine squared x all right so what do we do next let's transfer this to this side of the equation and equate this side to be zero okay so if we do that we have 1 plus sine squared x minus 2 sine x minus 9 plus 9 sine squared x is equal to zero now let's collect like terms. All this implies, don't pardon me, please. So this implies that one minus nine will give us minus eight. Um, sine squared x plus nine sine squared x will give us ten plus ten sine squared x. Okay. Now minus two sine x. Okay, it doesn't have any twin. So we have just minus two sine x, right? Minus two sine x is equal to zero okay now looking at this now this is uh sine squared x sine x let's call sine x something 
yes so we can say let sine x equal to y let's call it y so if we do that then our equation becomes we all know we are looking for x and x sine x so let me clean that so that we have enough space so we said let sine x equals y, right? So that means this equation becomes minus 8 plus 10y squared, right? Because this is sine squared x. Now minus 2y, right? Minus 2y is equal to 0. You can see a quadratic equation being formed. But since this we can divide through by 2 let's go ahead and do that and reduce the numbers okay so let's divide through by 2 if we do that we have minus 4 plus 5 y squared minus y is equal to 0 now let's rearrange this let's rearrange this we have 5 y squared minus y minus 4 is equal to 0 perfect now, um, I would like to solve this using factorization method is faster. Using factorization method. So, we need what? 5 times 4 will give us 5 times minus 4 will give us minus 20. So, we need factors of minus 20. Two factors of minus 20 that when we add them together, we get minus 1. And those two factors are um, 4 and minus 5. 4 times minus 5 will give us minus 20. 4 and minus 5. Yes, because 4 times minus 5 will give us minus 20, and 4 minus 5 will give us minus 1. So, this is what we do. Recall that we have what? 4 and minus 5. So, we have 5y squared minus 5y plus 4y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we have actually replaced this minus y with this. So, we, we can now factorize by grouping, okay? So, this has what in common. They have 5y in common, this and this. So, let's bring the 5y outside. So, 5y squared divided by 5y, we have y minus 5y divided by 5y, we have 1. Okay. So, here they have plus 4 in common. Now, 4y divided by 4, we give us y. Minus 4 divided by plus 4, we give us minus 1. Is equal to 0. Perfect. We are getting to our destination in a jiffy. Let's go, guys. Now, we have um, y minus 1, y minus 1 in the bracket, so we can bring 1 out. Okay, if we do that, we have y minus 1 multiplied by 5y plus 4, right? 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is where we are now. This is 4, please. Okay. So we now have two values here. That y minus 1 is equal to 0. Or that 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. So if we should concentrate on this, we can actually say that y is equal to 1. Now recall, recall that y is equal to sine x, right? Don't forget. So that simply means that sine x for this is equal to 1. But, let's check. If you say that sine x is equal to 1, that means cos x is 0, right? Using our trig identity. If sine x is equal to 1, that means cos x is 0. And if you have 1 over 0 here, this becomes what? Undefined. And that means that this particular equation is not really going well. So, we cannot leave this as an answer. So, this answer is not is rejected now let's solve for this if we solve for this so we have that what 5y plus 4 is equal to 0 so that means that 5y is equal to this plus 4 we cross to become minus 4 all right so we divide by 5 we divide by 5 so this we divide this we have that y is equal to minus 4 over 5 now recall that y is equal to sine x. So this implies that sine x is equal to minus 4 over 5. And this is what the solution that will that is okay. This particular solution is okay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.